Welcome to another edition of Automation Under 3. I'm Chris Keller. I've been traveling the world going to a number of different automation fairs, including Hanover Fair and Automate, making videos for other people, but I'm happy to be back making another edition of Automation Under 3. Did you know Lenza means lightning wolf in German? No, it actually doesn't. Today we're talking about the i550 cabinet frequency inverter, also known as a VFD. The i550 would be a great addition to any automation project with zero clearance mounting, modular design for different configs, and STO. It's available from small to large, single phase and three phase models, and a variety of different network flavors. Um, today, actually, we're going to be talking about the IOLink version. As you can see, the different connection points there. Uh, we're going to hook this guy up and we're going to get it running. We're also going to explore the different IOLink parameters and how you could control that. There are a number of things I like about the i550 VFD, one of which is how you can set it up multiple ways. Uh, in this video clip I showed you you can use the interface module by inputting the simple parameters from the motor face plate. You can start, stop, change direction all from that interface module. I'm going to use the Festo single port CDSU and I'm going to hook that up to the VFD and what that will do is pull in the IODD automatically as long as I have an internet connection and that will allow us to access the parameters of the drive for commissioning. So I'm going to dive in here to some of these parameters and show you how to set it up, a uh, very basic setup, um, get that motor turning very easily. So as you can see I'm going to set the enable inverter and run bit to constant true. And then I'm going to scroll down through all of these parameters. I'm going to get down to where we set up the network word, um, which is our process out data. Um, and then you can see off to the right hand side there I've set like bit 1 is run forward, bit 2 is uh, run reverse, quick stop. And then once you uh, set the word to a, a certain value, in this case you can see I set it to a 1, it ran forward, I could run it reverse and then I could do the quick stop. So you can set up a number of different functions there and control them very easily through a PLC by writing to that network or control word. So very powerful, very easy to use and quickly at the bottom um, you can see I'm just getting some feedback from the motor. Uh, so really cool. But hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, edition of Automation Under 3. Uh, we'll see you next time.